It was only a brief blip in an otherwise fine debut, but with USC driving early in the fourth quarter of its opener, up just six points over San Jose State, Jonah Monheim lunged forward on a first down pass play and missed his man. The young right tackle's missed block reverberated from there. The pocket collapsed. Then Slovis was sacked. And soon, the drive stalled, leaving USC to settle for a field goal. What might have been a critical mistake was ultimately rendered moot by a pick six on the ensuing possession. But after an off-season of anxiety around the offensive line, the miss was a reminder of the growing pains USC might still face this season with two redshirt freshmen finding their footing up front. We have a lot of room for them to grow to get better, said new offensive line coach Clay McGuire, and if we can get them to play to their potential and their ability fundamentally, I think we have a chance to have two really good tackles. Obviously, they're young. But the thing is there's a high ceiling there. That promise was clear in Monheim's rapid ascent to the starting offensive line this offseason, as he rode strong performances in the spring and summer to unseat senior incumbent Jalen McKenzie this fall. The praise for his play since has been nothing short of effusive. But after his first start, Monheim offered a more sobering self-analysis. There's a lot of things I need to clean up, a lot of things I need to do better, Monheim said. Cortland Ford, the redshirt freshman at left tackle, played through part of his debut with a dislocated finger on his left hand, leaving the field only briefly to have it set and taped. But Ford gave himself no breaks as he offered a frank assessment of his first game, listing out all the areas he planned to improve, from hand placement to leverage to pad level. Of course, it's not perfect, Ford said. There's stuff to improve on. I just want to pick up every little detail. I saw from the film the errors I created. The most glaring of those errors came in pass protection. Slovis was sacked just twice on the afternoon, but was often forced to operate from a collapsing pocket, with San Jose State pass rushers bearing down from the edge. According to Pro Football Focus, the two tackles each allowed three pressures on the outside, while the interior held the Spartans without a single pressure up the middle. They've got to hold edge and keep the pocket, McGuire said. Kind of talking to the guys, Winton had a real clean, good pocket, I think he's probably about 100% in the game. When he had missed throws, it was because the pocket collapsed on him or something like that. So like I said, I challenged the guys if we can go out and give him a nice pocket to step up and work and throw, we've got a chance to be special. Still, McGuire was honest about his group's early shortcomings. He wasn't entirely satisfied with the run game, even after USC averaged 4.